Hey there. I'm Cast Iron Katie. I'm Cast Iron Katie. I'm Cast Iron Katie. Doesn't that make a nice sound? So, just a moment. Hi there. I'm Cast Iron Katie. And in this video, I am making Turi waffles. Turi is a co-worker of ours and a friend, and he gave me this waffle recipe and told me how he tweaked it a little bit, and uh, it's delicious. I eat a half a waffle every morning for breakfast, and I need to make the waffles. And I'm gonna do it on my cast iron waffle maker. It is patented in 1925 comes in three pieces. We have the base that rotates the two plates. So let's get right into mixing up the batter. Start by whisking together two cups whole wheat flour, a half teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon, and three teaspoons of baking powder. Got my whisk attachment on here. Now we're gonna combine the wet ingredients. Start with three egg yolks. Get those beat up. Okay. A cup of buttermilk. Okay. And a cup of regular milk. Here's our one cup of milk. The last of the wet ingredients is a half cup of oil. Let's whisk all that together. Okay, while I have the whisk attachment on, I'm gonna go ahead and whisk the whites until they make peaks. That is some good looking egg whites. Now we are going to mix the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Ooh, that cinnamon smells good. We fold in our perfect egg whites. Aren't those beautiful? The last of the ingredients are the fruit. I have two grated apples and one cup of blueberries. We will fold that into the pancake mix also. We will fold that into the waffle mix. That's the batter. That is the recipe for Turi waffles. Let's get the stove all ready to go. Let's get to waffling. Waffle iron has to preheat for three minutes on each side. So we'll let it warm up for a little bit. Waffle iron is preheated. We're gonna put it over onto the previous side that was preheated. So the really hot one doesn't scorch our batter. Okay, spray with vegetable spray. Add two thirds cup or somewhere thereabouts. Spray the top plate. Let it cook each side for two minutes. 
when cooking waffles, you should always keep in mind that the first one never counts. It smelled like it was burning at one minute into the cook instead of two minutes on each side. So I went ahead and I flipped it and the other side was much darker than that. So use your nose also whenever you're making waffles. Yeah, I started smelling that one. So that was a, that took half the time that it normally would. So I definitely need to turn the temperature down a little. Let's try waffle number two. Spray. Two thirds cup of batter. Oops, drop some. And another spray. Let's see if we can get it two minutes on each side so it's a little slower to cook. When I make a batch of waffles, I freeze them so that they're ready for my breakfast. One way I serve it is I grab a half of a waffle and a veggie sausage out of the refrigerator and just slap it together, microwave it, throw a slice of cheese on it, and some German mustard. There's no cheese or German mustard on it, but that's one way I eat it. So I have a apple and half of a waffle and a veggie sausage. I'll put it together the night before and then microwave it and then I'll put some syrup on it, usually it's blueberry syrup, and a squirt of whipped topping on it. Delicious. That recipe made eight waffles. That's 16 breakfasts. They're really great whenever you pop them out of the freezer, microwave them for a couple minutes. So good. Let me know what you think of the turry waffle. This is Cast Iron Katie. Thanks so much for watching. Chasing it around, chasing it around. Who's gonna be the winner? Oh, you both lost, suckers. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Hazards of cooking on gas.